What's going on, Team Kestava? Today, we are jumping into more on how I tab my personal code. Um, it is an overwhelming uh, ask by the team um, via chats and comments and everything like that. So uh, super proud of all you guys for um, continuing to ask questions um, and to kind of pick my brain and say, hey, you know, we want to know this. We want to know that instead of just having me try to figure out um, exactly what I think is most important to you. It's been really fantastic you telling me what's most important to you. So keep it up. i uh, really been loving it. So we are going to be diving into boom, the ASCE 716 provisions. Now, this code is going to be on the upcoming uh, civil structural PE exam. Um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Just going to be going through what I tabbed. And these are tabs that I developed through my own studies, preparing for the PE exam a few years ago. Um, so they were most helpful to me. Now, some of them might seem redundant, but the point of all of these tabs for me was for speed. Speed is the number one thing on the PE exam. You want to get in, you want to be able to find your information quickly and effectively come to an answer. Um, you shouldn't be spending a lot of time searching. If you're spending most of your time searching, then having to uh, use more time to then answer the question, that's going to be pretty detrimental to you guys in the exam. You want to be as little time as possible to find what you're looking for in the codes and use the maximum amount of time to apply it. So before we begin, please like and subscribe uh, somewhere down there. I always forget how my camera's facing, but uh, you know, join the team. It's, it's been growing, it's been fantastic. Um, you can, definitely all of us are learning a lot, including myself. So if you have a second, like, subscribe, leave a comment with any questions you might have. It always helps. First tab I'm gonna be opening is for importance factor. Now, I've tabbed that as just a plain I. Um, that is on page five. And really, the only important thing about this is you kill two birds with one stone on this page because you have risk category for buildings um, and other structures for flood, wind, snow, earthquake, and ice loads. You need that all the time. And then the table right next to it is the importance factor by risk category. Back to back, you get those two really important items, stuff you're gonna pop into for the structural specific portion of the exam. You're gonna need to be going here. You wanna have that tab on hand to just flip right over to it. So again, it's on page five. My next tab is tabbed seismic buildings. Now this is chapter 12 on page 89 of the provision. And chapter 12 is just seismic design requirements for building, uh, for building structures. So this is for your um, main lateral force or main seismic force resisting system or main lateral force resisting system, whatever might be controlling. But obviously for this chapter, it's if seismic controls. Um, I'm out here in seismic country, so most of the time it does control. So I'm in here a lot, but um, if you are getting into that seismic, uh, I recommend tabbing this because it's the easiest just to jump right to it. Next tab, this is specific to the PE exam. Um, I've tabbed it and called it Simplified Seismic Analysis. This is on page 115. So this is within chapter 12. And uh, what I found in my experience with the practice problems and in the exam is that uh, if you do have a seismic problem, it's going to be very, very straightforward, uh, meaning that your, um, your seismic analysis is probably um, a building such that you can use the simplified method, which is really straightforward, really to the point, like single equation, one-stop shop type of thing. So um, get used to at least do one or two practice problems using the simplified analysis. Read this small portion of the provision. Again, it starts on page 115. Um, really, really handy. And then let's see here. Do it on the fly. Yeah, so your seismic base shear, you have with one simplified equation where you only use your uh, seismic response factor, R, and uh, that is on page 118 and 119, back to back. So I've uh, starred those pages as well, um, but that tab is really, really important. This is all seismic through here, so uh, skip through if you'd like, but chapter 13, uh, I've tabbed and called it components. That's on page 121. So these are, if you're designing anchorage or a small design that's not a whole structure just for like a generator 
or any type of MEP equipment that structurally needs to be um, some type of framing system around it to support it, you're going to be in here. You're not going to use chapter 12. You're going to use chapter 13. So I have that tabbed as well. Next, I have non-building structures as my tab on page 145. This is chapter 15. It's exactly where you think you go. Again, it's another seismic tab, but all three of these are very nice to flip to if you can analyze your building quickly to say, hey, I, you know, is it a full building? Is it just this little tiny um, frame system for a generator? Or is it none of the above and it's a non-building structure? You're going to go based on what your building type, actual building type is, you're going to flip to each of these different chapters. You can't just use the same chapter over for anything. So remember that. Then we have uh, what I've tabbed as wind general, which is chapter 26. So these are wind loads, general requirements. Uh, super important. This is where it all begins for wind. And it's way towards the back of the provisions. That's why I have it tabbed. You can get lost back here, especially in the wind sections. There's a lot of info for wind, a lot of tables, a lot of graphs, a lot of conditions. So page 245. And then subsequently, the next page on 246, this is your flow chart, your um, kind of your cheat sheet, if you will, on every single step you need to take in order to do your wind analysis. So on the PE exam, they might ask you some wind questions. And again, they're not going to give you a full analysis procedure. There's not enough time for that, not even close. So they are going to nitpick little pieces throughout this system to grab and say, find this, find that. Um, and you want to be able to flip to this, look down at the portion to say, ah, okay, they're asking for this specific um, variable. Okay, I need to go to this section. So that page on 246 was really, really key for speed. Then I have a little bonus in the back as my last one, which is I call that uh, exempt torsion. So torsional irregularities due to wind loading. That is in Appendix D on page 397. And this goes into all the criteria of what classifies a building as um, torsionally exempt or not, or if the building is irregular or not, or if it's regular. And that's everything for the ASCE 716. Just a little one today, but I hope it's helpful. I hope you have all these tabs like I did. Doesn't, need, doesn't mean that you can't tab your own pages that are specific to you. It's always very important um, that you know precisely where you need to go and little hints that you need throughout the exam. So that's what it was for me continue to use these in my professional career. And it's helped a lot because I found that I'm constantly coming back to them. Here's your, it's not just like you needed them for the PE and then you're done. I use them almost every day and I'm glad I have them there because when I have a book that doesn't have those tabs, it kind of like jolts me a little bit. Cause I'm like, oh man, I always have those quick go-tos. So it's nice. It's nice to have your own manual and to tab it up. And if you don't own your own manual, that's still okay. Grab one from your office or from, you know, wherever, as long as you're going to need to get your hands on one and tab it up. And then if you have to give it back, just remove those tabs. It's that easy. And that's it today. Real short, hopefully real sweet and really helpful for your studying for the PE exam. Uh, leave a like and a comment below if you have any questions. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this team because we are learning every day and pff, classes in session. And I'm certainly learning a lot. So I hope all of you are too. And uh, until next time, this is Rich. I'll see you guys.